hundreds of thousands brought in. Bukovina and Bessarabia into two forests in the area of the River Bug. The purpose of the action is the liquidation of those Jews. Day by day, over years, women were holding their children in their arms and pointing to the sky while they waited to take their place in blood-soaked communal graves. Twelve million men, women and children have died thus, murdered in cold blood. Millions upon millions more today mourn their fathers and their mothers, their husbands, their wives and their children. What rights has any man to mercy who has played a part, however indirectly, in such a crime? Let Graeber speak again of Dubno. The people who had got off the trucks, men, women and children of all ages, had to undress upon the orders of an SS man who carried a riding or dog whip. They had to put down their clothes in fixed places, sorted according to shoes, top clothing and underclothing. I saw a heap of shoes of about 800 to 1,000 pairs, great piles of underlinen and clothing. Without screaming or weeping, these people undressed, stood around in family groups, kissed each other, said farewells, and waited for a sign from another SS man who stood near the pit, also with a whip in his hand. During the 15 minutes that I stood near, I heard no complaint or plea for mercy. I watched a family of about eight persons, a man and a woman, both about 50, with their children of about one, eight, and 10, and two grown-up daughters of about 20 or 24. An old woman with snow-white hair, was holding the one-year-old child in her arms and singing to it and tickling it. The child was cooing with delight. The couple were looking on with tears in their eyes. The father was holding the hand of a boy about 10 years old and speaking to him softly. The boy was fighting his tears. And the father pointed to the sky stroked his head and seemed to explain something to the boy. At that moment, the SS man at the pit shouted something to his comrade. The latter counted off about 20 persons and instructed them to go behind the earth mound. Among them was the family, which I have mentioned. I well remember a girl, slim and with black hair, who, as she passed close to me, pointed to herself and said, 23. I walked around the mound and found myself confronted by a tremendous grave. 
people were closely wedged together and lying on top of each other so that only their heads were visible. Nearly all had blood running over their shoulders from their heads. Some of the people shot were still moving. Some were lifting their arms and turning their heads to show that they were still alive. I was surprised that I was not ordered away, but I saw that there were two or three postmen in uniform nearby. The next batch was approaching already. They went down into the pit, lined themselves up against the previous victims and were shot. When I walked back round the mound, I noticed another truckload of people which had just arrived. This time it included sick and infirm persons. An old, very thin woman with terribly thin legs was undressed by others who were already naked. While two people held her up, the woman appeared to be paralyzed. The naked people carried the woman around the mound. I left with my foreman and 30 naked people lying near the pit, about 30 to 50 meters away from it. Some of them were still alive. They looked straight in front of them with a fixed stare and seemed to notice neither the chilliness of the morning nor the workers of my firm who stood around. A girl of about 20 spoke to me and asked me to give her clothes and help her to escape. At that moment we heard a fast car approach and I noticed that it was an SS detail. I moved away to my site. Can have remained ignorant of the horrors perpetrated to support the Nazi war machine and the policy of genocide becomes a more clear when you consider the evidence with regard to yet another great crime, little heard of in the course of this trial, but which as clearly as any other illustrates the wickedness of these men and of their regime. The murder of some 270,000 persons by so-called mercy killing. <laughs>